Today we're talking about full lips and how to get them. Unfortunately, we all cannot be blessed with those pouty full lips that Angelina Jolie and lots of other celebrities have. We don't all have that. And I want to talk about not just the full lips, but full lips, the company. They are a company that has developed these little plastic devices that you put towards your lips, you create a suction that allows blood to flow through, and it actually does give you fuller lips. This is no joke. We're gonna do this all in the video together. Now, I ordered full lips actually through Amazon, and I purchased the medium oval size because they're, everyone has different size mouths, how you know wide they are, you know, full they are. Obviously, if you have really full lips, I don't know if you'd be buying this product, now would you? But it's all about the size of your mouth. So you wanna get the right size full lip device to go with your size. So I picked up the medium oval because I thought it was a very universal size. I don't have a very large mouth. Um, so I received my package and I got this really, really nice letter from Linda, just, you know, in handwriting. She just wrote me a little letter letting me know that if I have any questions to call her. She actually gave me her personal cell phone number. Really, really sweet lady. And also, she included a little gift. She did give me the large round as well. So that was really sweet. That was very nice of her to do that. If you haven't heard of this company and this device, I have linked everything below. Go check up the website. It is the real deal. It's not a gimmick that doesn't work. It really does work. They do include some directions so you won't be completely lost as to what to do and they do enclose some important information as far as what not to do. Um, so that is in this whole detailed document that you do receive with your order. So step one is you're supposed to clean your full lips enhancer with mild soap and water. And I've had this product for a couple months now, so I've already done that. But again, you want to make sure to clean it. The second step is they do recommend exfoliating your lips beforehand. And what I do is I just get a little washcloth that is damp and I just rub my lips and just exfoliate them that way. Also, they do recommend putting some water or moisturizer on your lip, lips. You don't actually have to, but they say that it creates more of a suction on the device. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of a moisturizer on my lips. Nothing too greasy because I do have makeup on, so I don't want to affect the area around my mouth and have to touch up or redo my makeup. And I'm gonna start off with the medium oval size. Um, so you position your full lips enhancer over your mouth and lip area. So you would do that. Hold in place and begin sucking short puffs of air out of enhancer. Continue until solid suction is established and enhancer is tight but comfortable around the mouth. You may have to move it around a little to get into position to establish the tightest suction. I am going to zoom in the camera so you can get more of a close up of the step by step process to using this device. So I just did a little bit and as you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but <laughs> my lips are getting a little bit more pigmented um, because it is bringing blood flow to the lips. So they do say to begin 30 second segments and just kind of start, pull away. You can use your finger if you have to release that suction and just kind of build it up to the fullness that you want. For me, my bottom lip is a lot fuller than my top lip, so I like to try to focus on creating the top lip a little bit more fuller to kind of even things out. And this doesn't hurt at all. 
It's just, when you were a little kid, this is how I'm going to reference this, a little bizarre. Did you ever put your cup, if you were drinking milk or something, and put your cup and suck it against your mouth? Like, <laughs> I think that's kind of weird. Maybe I'm sharing too much of my childhood. Also, if you do have another device, you can kind of change it up. So I have the large round and the oval, so you can switch it up. This one is a little bit too big. And you can move it around your mouth. So if you want to focus more on the outer parts, you can kind of position your enhancer to focus in on one area. So I don't know if you can see, my upper lip is a lot fuller than it was before. And I'll do before and after shots when we're done. So you do feel a little bit of tingling, but not in an uncomfortable way. It's just because there's so much blood going through your lips. It's like when you exfoliate, you kind of feel them a little bit more. So I think that's kind of as full as I want to go without looking too fake. I like to, on top of doing something like this, add a gloss to really get the true effect. So that's all there is to it when using the lip enhancer. And as you can see from the pictures, there is a difference. And I could have kept going and creating more of a bigger lip, but honestly, I didn't want anything too big. I just want to enhance a little bit of my upper lip to kind of match my bottom lip a little bit more. But it's a really great device and it's inexpensive as opposed to going to get lip injections and all of that. I paid for the medium oval. I did pay $19.99 and then there is some tax on top of that. So it's a really inexpensive device. It's certainly not a long wearing type of fix, but I think it definitely helps, especially if you are going out or you're somewhere, you're filming something, you're taking photos for an event or you know your wedding day or what have you, and you just want a little bit of a fuller lip. So I really like this enhancer. I like it a lot. I give it a big two thumbs up and definitely check it out. Of course, if you have any questions about the product, you know, comment below. I'm happy to answer anything. So that's it for our video today. I hope you enjoyed it. This was kind of a different fun review, but almost a tutorial in one to do today. So I had a lot of fun doing it. I hope you enjoyed it as well. If you haven't subscribed, you know where that button lives. Don't forget to give a big thumbs up for full lips if you liked the video. And we'll see you in my next video. Bye.